opening it's a deal for Zell here market analysts at cfds.com bringing you a review of the european markets for end of days trading day thursday the 7th september 2017 please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com you can certainly download the app on the google play and the apple app store okay so mr mr draghi show uh, mr draghi has come and gone and literally it has been the draghi show the uh, the actual um, aftermath of the draghi show really can be uh, understood or interpreted from the uh, from the euro usd itself as you can see here now it's starting to plunge okay so let's look at the daily chart first of all on the euro usd um, certainly topping tails topping tail and a topping tail so be interested to see how the chart closes now the euro usd certainly did ramp higher uh, and now it's starting to reverse okay so uh, we had a ramp higher on the euro usd in the back of mr draghi uh, uh, lack of uh, attempt to uh, talk down the euro Okay, um, from my understanding or interpretation, I'll have to go back as well. Uh, nothing really changed in terms of uh, the uh, growth and inflation outlook. Okay, but nevertheless, markets certainly interpreted the fact that uh, lack of uh, uh, attempt at uh, talking the euro down or talking inflation down or talking growth down, etc. Uh, well, not growth. I think growth was left as it is. Uh, he did actually uh, forecast on the or emphasize the fact that growth was starting to revive. Uh, nevertheless that's basically what he did okay and that certainly triggered the uh, the actual uh, euro to rally on the back of uh, especially versus the dollar as well uh, and also versus gbp across the across the board uh, and uh, given the fact that uh, mr trump uh, is his uh, we had also had jobless claims as well so you've got the uh, incompetence of mr trump although uh, the dollar is starting to uh, to uh, to revive now on the back of uh, reports of trump and schumer going forward and agreeing to a potential permanent uh, debt ceiling plan as opposed to a short-term three-month one. Nevertheless, it shows that they are actually attempting to work together and they may well even push through tax reform, which again is helping the dollar dollar's case. Uh, that's that's the status quo. Okay, so the euro USD at the moment, the daily chart is certainly topping out, and that certainly will help European equities to a large extent if it has topped out, uh, and if it obviously can remain below 1.2. If the, uh, the euro spikes back up, uh, dollar starts to collapse and then obviously we know what the result will be it'll start to hurt european equities okay so that's basically where we stand now whilst we're talking about the euro usd topping out here as well let's quickly just go into the uh, short term uh, time frame you can see four hour chart double top here certainly holding 60 minute chart you can see we're finding resistance at 1.2060 uh, oscillating around the 1.2 level okay we'll see exactly how that certainly turns out uh, but for now uh, we're certainly oscillating between those two uh, levels now the support zone certainly seems to be down the 1.1950 and the resistance around 1.2060 so let's see how the euro usd plays out towards the end now again we are receiving reports we've also got mr fed mester talking up the dollar indicating rate hikes are, are certainly due that certainly is helping the dollar also given the fact that they are looking for a permanent debt ceiling solution and again that certainly is positive okay nevertheless even though mr trump's own party is certainly livid and uh, is fuming at present Nevertheless, Mr. Trump is a wild card and you do things that, uh, especially when you least expect them to, okay? So that certainly is a status quo. Now, looking at the dollar index as well, you can see a four hour chart, double bottom, okay? Double bottom on the four hour and also on the daily, you can see we have massive, massive support now. Major support in this zone on the dollar index, given the fact that it's been absolutely brutally butchered, okay, to a, to a large extent. And we are now looking for a potential bottom here. And certainly looking to hold as well on the dollar index. So again, potential here of a base being built on the dollar index, okay, and then obviously a potential rally higher, which in turn will send the euro USD lower. Uh, but nevertheless, that's the status quo. Mr. Draghi is, has come and gone, and now it's our, our job to assess the aftermath. Now, economic numbers: uh, Euro FTSE 100 finished up 42 points, the DAX up to 82, for CAC up 13. Also, given the fact that obviously Mr. Trump has come to some sort of agreement and alleviated the risk aversion there. Also, with regards to Mr. President Z and uh, Trump certainly agreeing to uh, uh, enforce uh, more sanctions as opposed to uh, uh, military uh, intervention. Again, that certainly is helping. Okay. Uh, economic data from the US today certainly was weak jobless claims rising, but that was blamed on the hurricane. So, again, I don't think investors took much, uh, uh, placed much emphasis on there, especially with European equities rallying as well. Uh, Europe, U.S. equities certainly bounced higher as well. Also, uh, jobless claims, like I said, unit labor costs as well lower, non-farm productivity gaining. Other than that, there wasn't anything really. I mean, U.S. economic optimism, yes, it did come out on the positive side, 
and that really is the story uh, to be honest uh, okay so again let's look at the technical picture now in terms of the german dax you can see the daily chart certainly potential top out here okay given the fact that the euro still is hovering around the 1.2 zone which really isn't helpful for german exports nevertheless that's where we stand okay so we need to ideally get back above this uh, key one two three fifty zone uh, german dax certainly has sort of baked in a lot of the potential dovish price action from draghi okay uh, given the fact that we've rallied from 1.1 well not 1.1 11850 all the way up to 12 uh, 350 so it's quite an impressive rally okay 60 minute chart let's move on to the 60 minute chart now on the german dax it certainly looks top heavy from my perspective okay you do have uh, previous uh, obviously support equals resistance in this zone here okay so certainly looking for resistance there uh, you have horizontal resistance up here as well so again looking the top heavy you do have an unfilled gap below although having said that you are in a series of higher highs and higher lows okay so watch out for that there is an argument that we one could make that you do have an inverted head and shoulders formation here so again watch out for that certainly um, exercise caution once we get to gap fill that's my interpretation okay Moving on to the 10 minute chart, let's just quickly look at a 10 minute chart. So again, looks top heavy, no higher highs. If anything, it's putting in a lower high each time. So again, exercise caution, you have an unfilled gap below, and that certainly seems to be a target. Previous resistance equals support, horizontal support in this zone down here at 12, uh, 660 as well. So let's watch out for that gap fill and watch out for support there too. Okay. In terms of the European equities, less the uh, the pair uh, French CAC, French CAC certainly weaker than the DAX. Okay, daily chart certainly touching a key resistance diagonal trend line, looking for risk aversion here on the back of a stronger euro. Also, given the fact that Mr. Draghi failed to talk the euro down. Okay, so again, tapering is set uh, to be discussed in October, and that certainly doesn't bode well for European equities, from my interpretation. Okay, certainly looking for weakness there. Uh, again, you are looking at upside capped at 5150 zone, okay, on the uh, French CAC, certainly looking at, at capped here. You are looking for a retracement now. I'd certainly be looking for a retracement from 5140 down to potentially even back down to 5050. Let's see how the French CAC responds. Having said that, just be wary. There is a potential for an inverted head and shoulders formation as well. Okay, so again, you are looking at a potential IHS formation kick uh, obviously coming into play and then obviously targeting that gap at 5220 so again just be flexible uh, i'm a day trader so um, i'm happy to switch bias whichever way the market wants to go i'm happy to go okay no real uh, opinion that i'm going to marry forever okay uh, constantly switching constantly changing happy to do so as well okay no qualms there at all okay so day trading that's the that's the benefit there as well Okay, so in terms of the smaller time frames, let's just go to the smaller time frames here. Okay, French CAC, you have gap fill down here. Okay, gap fill. So if you do four, you're looking at support five one hundred. Okay, let's look at the rest of these equities. Okay, let's go down to the euro stocks. Let's see exactly how the euro stocks is playing out. Okay, daily chart on the euro stocks at the moment. You have this uh, downward channel. You are looking at resistance in this upper region here at 5470 hence the reason why my bias certainly shifted bearish okay given the fact that the euro usd is around the 1.12 level if it remains there or climbs above that you are looking at a bearish reaction in european equities and it will hurt european exports so just bear that in mind and bear, bear in mind the bearish channel as well okay horizontal resistance is seen at 5470 that's your level to potentially short Okay, any flush lower, you are looking at uh, support down here at three, uh, four, or four, five. Ten minute chart does have gap fill. Uh, gap fill is uh, we still need to close that gap at three, three, four, three, five. So watch out for support at three, four, three, five. Okay. Uh, again, let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. Last but not least, uh, the um, the FTSE ten minute chart clearly shows you resistance. That's one of the reasons why I short the uh, the FTSE up uh, up in this region certainly covered around the 7390 zone for plus 15 which was a nice a decent trade there okay so you are looking at upside capped at 7410 okay so you need to see some uh, strength above that as you can see here 75 percent resistance previous support equals resistance hence the reason why that's an ideal opportunity to short okay and a good that was a good setup there for me okay nice 15 points daily chart at the moment again you do have support down at this 7300 zone okay resistance up here at 7440 and that really is a tail 
for the FTSE. We're just basically trading sideways, okay? We failed to make higher high. You've put in a double top. The question now, okay, if you're trading, uh, if you're swing trading the market, really, if you are a swing trader on the FTSE, your eye or your, your focus will be on this bear flag, okay? And your daily chart, obviously, you're looking at a lower high, okay? So bear flag, lower high, and obviously this H&S formation as well. As you can see here, this is your left shoulder, this is your head, your right shoulder, and then obviously looking to flush lower. So certainly bearish on the larger time frames of the FTSE. So if anything, uh, technically FTSE, you should be looking to potentially uh, locate short opportunities really on the FTSE if you are looking at the larger time frame projecting up to the shorter one. Either way, that's the status quo, okay? Uh, I think that's a market wrap for today. Post Draghi, again, Euro USD really does affect the um, the direction of European equities. So again, if you are trading European equities, you must have the Euro USD chart open at all times. If you see a spike like this, then it indicates bearishness. If you see a spike lower, then it indicates bullishness. So again, this is your risk barometer for European equities. If you're trading without that, you are already trading blind, in my opinion. But that's my view because I... I trade base and into market analysis has been a very good week this week 240 points already in the bag so certainly improved from last week's negative week okay uh, certainly certainly improved on that note either way it's uh, a good night from me please be sure to visit cfds.com specialist in trading and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now